Hello guys, welcome to a new Get Wrecked Gaming News video. And yet again, I have some spicy news for you guys today. Today I have a very interesting story from VGC. They are talking about Nintendo's next console. I made some videos in the past about that very subject. And VGC does have some very good sources and insiders. Of course, keep in mind it's still a rumor video. It's technically not news, but... Most of the time when VGC says something towards a rumor, I do tend to believe it because they have been pretty correct so far. Let's talk all about that, so sit back, relax, enjoy, take a beverage, and let's get on with the news. So, apparently Nintendo is targeting a 2024 release for this next console, and VGC just has some new information towards the console pretty juicy stuff and it looks like it will be yet again a portable hybrid handheld console system which i am not really surprised by because this whole formula for the nintendo switch really worked well for nintendo and i know nintendo is a company that likes to change a lot of stuff always with their new releases but this release for the nintendo switch has been so good for them and i do think they want to stick now with this formula because they are very unique now with this formula and it's doing so well so let's take a look at some of the details towards the next nintendo console of course if you have a very good comment on this news don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below what is your opinion on nintendo's next console and i might feature you in the next video according to multiple people with knowledge of nintendo's next gen console plans the company is likely to release new hardware during the second half of 2024 to ensure that it has ample stock available on day one and to avoid the kind of shortages seen with the playstation 5 and the xbox series x and s yeah the shortage problem was pretty big of course that was also because of covid and things have been going back to normal now basically so i don't really think even though nintendo would release a new console i think the shortages would be pretty short not as big as back then with covid but still pretty good that they want to keep their stock up although specific details on the console are being kept closely guarded those vgc spoke to indicated that the next gen console would be able to use in portable modes similar to the nintendo switch two sources vgc spoke to suggested that the console could launch with a lcd screen instead of a more premium oled one in order to bring down costs especially considering the increased storage needed for higher fidelity games the current switch comes with just 32 gigabytes of internal memory while many current gen playstation and xbox games are over 100 gigabytes yeah that's it will be a problem going forward especially for next gen games if they ever come to the switch uh, they need to be able able to be stored on that and you know that is an issue nintendo does have that the storage isn't really that big like its predecessor the new nintendo console will also accept physical games via a cartridge slot the sources set other details such as backwards compatibility support for switch games physical and digital remains unclear nintendo has said it wants to convert as many of the switch 100 plus million user base as possible to its next system Although some third-party publishers are said to have expressed concern that legacy support for Switch games could negatively affect sales of next-gen titles. That is just balloony. Don't, lis don't listen to third-party uh, publishers. They just want more money, Nintendo. Uh, I can tell you guys, backwards compatibility will be a very important factor if a lot of people will go early adopt to buy this new system now i will tell you guys if a new nintendo system will release a console i will just buy it either way because i have to cover it and i'm a gamer enthusiast but i really want to see backwards compatibility and there have been some signs in the past from leaks and rumors that there will be some sort of backwards compatibility for this new system 
There are rumors flying around that there would be backwards compatibility patches for Pokemon Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet, but also for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I do think backwards compatibility will be here, but Nintendo could do, do such a brain dead move and be like, yeah, only digital games are backwards compatible and your physical cartridge is not. If they would pull off something like that, I would be pissed off because I have a big Switch library now that I'm building and I want to be able to take these games over to the next system. PS5 also does it. It has PS4 backwards compatibility. Xbox has it. I think this should be just a normally standard for the industry. And Nintendo sometimes like to be anti-consumer and they wouldn't mind if we had to buy games multiple times for the new system. But please, to God, I'm praying to God that this stuff is backwards compatible because I want to be able to play a lot of indie games that I have from Limited Run on cartridge on the next Nintendo system. I would be very disappointed if that would not be the case. Yeah, pretty interesting information. A lot of third-party sources already have dev kits in the wild so they are probably testing out the hardware right now we have seen some leaks about the specs that the switch would be able to play games at 4k at least docked and maybe in handheld 1080p at least that would be fine for me if it would hit those targets we shall see about that the games are of course more important if we can get new zeldas uh, new Mario's, uh, that is something Nintendo always has over the competition. And to be fair, the Nintendo Switch has been selling still hotcakes. It's one of the mo best selling video game consoles of all time. Um, and I do think Nintendo should adopt their strategies a bit towards that. Maybe just do a Switch successor with better hardware. Just be backwards compatible, that's all. That's all I ask, at least. What do you guys think of this news? VGC tends to be very uh, reliable, so I do trust their sources and information on what they are saying. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think of this news? I quickly want to do a comment of the day. I just released a video about a potential Elder Scrolls for Oblivion remake. And I got some comments. Let's go to the comment section. Phantom Fox 1088 says it only makes sense they know Elder Scrolls 6 is so far out, but then again, it's Bethesda. Yeah. With this rumor, I was very skeptical that Bethesda would do a remake because they have said in the past we don't really want to do remasters and remakes of our games. We just want to focus on new stuff. Even though they did remasters for Skyrim, but hey, <laughs> I think they mean more into remake territory. And if they can just give the IP to someone else, like a different studio, that they can focus on Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield. They don't need to take away attention of those games, but in the meantime, we can get maybe a remake of an Elder Scrolls or a Fallout. I want to see remakes of those games. These are games that sell millions upon millions of units. There's a very big fan base for Fallout and Elder Scrolls. And it's kind of stupid that that IP is just dead for years upon years until a new game comes out. And I think Xbox might have had some hand, if this rumor is true, in this stuff. And maybe they forced Bethesda to give the IP to someone else to make a remake for it. A remake would make me happy in the meantime while we wait for Elder Scrolls 6. If you guys have a good comment of your own, don't forget to leave one in the comment section down below and I might feature you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news, leaks and rumors. I do that stuff a ton. And of course, visit my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next Get Rack Game News video. Bye-bye.